Ah. 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 Wanna sit at the campfire with me? Well, not really a campfire, it's more like a burning hay bale, but it's the closest thing we have to a campfire around here. Ooh, stone's getting hot. Ooh, pyrite's getting hot. I don't know if that has consequences. I better put my lighter away from the fire. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? We're sitting at the warmth, relaxing with the stars in the sky. It can be a really smooth atmosphere. Oh wow. And today in our horror story, ha 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 ha, we have to abandon our wagon. I like the card, don't get me wrong. The thing is though that this time around I want to look for something specific in the wide world. And I don't really need a card for that. At least not the clunky version, I should have done a... Should have done a smaller model. Maybe we do that later, if uh, as soon as we can create a f more precise things. I I don't know. The problem with the cutter is like uh, if you if you have like a mold where you perfectly align the log. What happens if you want another size later on? So I don't know how to deal with the adjustability, but no, uh, that's something we deal with when we get there. And my fire is out. And the sun is not yet. I mean, we can go in the dark. What I want to find should be easy enough to spot, actually. Because I just want a sliver of silver. It doesn't have to be much. I just want a teeny tiny bit of silver. And, well, here we are again at... <laughs> the start of the game, remember? Uh, maybe this time around I can actually talk about it a little. So basically, we have the stone and the tree like we began to break it. Which isn't really accurate because the leaves would turn yellow, but, but uh, let's keep it accurate. We built our eggs, we fell a tree. We... Um, what is this? Oh, we didn't, uh, we didn't really do anything with wheat. That's not wheat. Oh, that's tool cutting. Yeah, we did tool cutting as well. This is grass. Pyrite and stone ignite the grass and it's on fire. And this is wheat. We chop wheat up into seeds, which grow into more. And iron goes hot and s iron, well, hematite goes hot, I guess. Oh well, so that's what we jumped over. I think it was way better showing it in action, actually. So I didn't really go out with a weapon, so I don't want to go too close to the red slime or whatever. But it would be a great idea just to see what the island is made of. Hey, little sign. Okay, they are easily avoidable. I would have more problems with drones. And speaking of drones, there's one between the trees. I don't think you can see it. Yeah, faintly in the distance. You can faintly make it out. I don't know, my test screen to see where the camera is, is way too small for me <laughs> to really make out the details on it. I just vaguely know where the camera is. Oh, we have to swim here. Oh, it's a lake! I haven't seen... <laughs> I haven't seen lakes around too much. Speaking of uh, seeing too much, I haven't really shown the more explorative sides of the game. One, for example, is this little structure here. It may seem familiar, but don't be fooled. 
The white lasers are quite dangerous because those do more damage, way more damage, and they are homing. So we don't want to get close to this. It does look smaller than what we dealt with before, but it's also more dangerous. The drones are easier to avoid, but the lasers are harder. Oh, there's one more, which means we, oh my God. <gasps> You have to see this. Okay. Ready? Because I'm not. Oh. Okay, okay, why is this special? <laughs> Did I lose my mind? Maybe. I mean, most likely. But actually, this means that um, we have a kind of thick tree, uh, if I may say so. I mean, it's not the biggest around, but it's not the smallest either. That's why I'm so hyped. And we've got acorns on it. So the thing with the tree growth, I don't know if I said it with the apple trees, but if you grow a tree from the seeds of another, the new tree will always end up like the last one. At least last time I played. And therefore, if you got a teeny weeny tiny tree, the new tree will end up teeny weeny tiny tree. Like this one right here. <laughs> Isn't it cute? But if you take the acorns or apples from a big tree, you get always a big log out of it. Which for building is amazing. <sighs> so we kind of know this. Past the lake, we've got a nice tr tree and the drones. So, one more drone spawner. You can see this. I can see this on the uh, on the mini screen, so you can see this. Uh, see it as well. This drone there, it's not blue. It's green, and we don't like green drones. They're kind of recently. They're they're kind of new. And they f they don't shoot lasers at you. No, no, no. They they fly close to you and blow up into your face like good old creeper. Yeah, and I have no way defending myself against them. No way. Uh oh my god! So there's another spawner, and there's another another spawner, and there's another spawner. And I haven't even talked about the windmills. And there, there's another spawner and another windmill. Uh, windmills are another thing. We're doing tourist attraction today. I know. <laughs> so the thing about windmills is we've got... Oh, I wish I could show. We've got the small cubes there. Those are lasers. And those are not the teeny tiny yellow lasers. Oh, no, no. Those are the homing white lasers. We don't like those. Um, but I'm gonna do a funny, and I hope this goes right, okay? Because I know what I'm doing, kinda. <sighs> we run. Ow. Ah! Run! Wrong button, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of in a panic right there but it was worth well it wasn't really worth it who am i kidding for demonstration purposes though it was perfectly worth it because okay <laughs> the hair is the perfect contrast we got those two things they are stick uh, they're sticking out next to the windmills four of these we only grab one and one of these what are those <gasps> oh, oh, shading is a little funky. I can see my eye. <laughs> These are batteries. We're not there yet. We're at the beginning. We're in the Stone Age, like three episodes ago. Um, I don't want to do too much with electricity right right now. I can't even see the lamp most of the time. I just wanted to demonstrate it's in the game. And don't get me wrong, I want to do a lot with this later. Problem is though, if we only have one battery, I mean, I could run around and get another, but eh. <laughs> if we have only one battery, it will 
be empty at some point. So we either need a dynamo from the top of one of these, or we need a solar panel, which yes, is another part of the game, and actually one I would want to go for first. If you like the cart, oh, you gonna love this. So where do I put my, my little flashlight? Where are my bolts? My inventory sockets. White on white. I, I can't I can't see my inventory like this. Where is There it is. Okay. Oh now we even got the flashlight. Oh yeah. Uh nothing much in Oh and there are two more spawners. One you can see and one Oh even more. Oh god. The good thing about the spawners is that um, we get something from it. I would rather show than tell. Tungsten. I haven't dealt with tungsten in a while. What did tungsten? Transforms into tungsten at 600 Celsius. This was a good blade. If I remember right, I used tungsten to cut down the windmills. This is what we need a blade for. A blade to fight. That wasn't what I was out for, but it's nice. So we get tungsten from snow? Oh. Well, or maybe not, and this is a coincidence, but it's, um, it's a good beginning. I'm surely not running into the next windmill, that's for sure. I'm just running close by. And now you can see it load in. This is the new dungeon. Oh my. In a test recording, I looked into one of these things. I would personally say they are not really worth it, in my humble opinion, but they're cool nonetheless. And maybe a really good home base. So I want to invade this and live there. <laughs> uh, it's not really a feasible thing to do, but <gasps> silver. We've got the silver, so we can go back. That's what I mean, okay? That's what I mean. Look, look at this puny little tree. Yep. That's not a type of acorn we want. Actually, I should have grabbed an acorn. Although I didn't have a ladder. Next time, we know where. It, we have an estimate where it is. But if we want to work with a lot of wood. I would actually need to... Yeah. Hmm. I should do that later. So now, from where did we come? We swam. Right? I don't have iron on me, do I? And yes, I... I have uh, electricity on me, but it doesn't really do much, so we're pretty safe. Oh, that is even bigger! Uh, not that. Those are pets. Uh... This one. Wait. Let's put the silver to the tongues. Yep, we need a letter for this. Uh, I need to mark this actually. Did they fall down? No, they didn't fall down. Too bad. Yeah. Ah, I don't want to bring the tree down. I just want to mark it so I can easily find it later. Ah, it looks good, but it has to. Oh, I set out to find silver. I found silver. It was a good day. 
Hey, little slime. I wonder if the big starting tree starts with acorns. Not in any game I've been in so far, but that would be hilarious. I would love that. Just imagine making more and more of the giant wood. <laughs> I would say without looking, but I do have the screen in front of me <laughs> that can tell. Ah, uh, back to good old home, back to my cart, back to everything. Okay, we've got the flashlight now. Oh yeah, iron is conductive. So, if I do this. Okay, maybe it's not that perfectly conductive. Um, it works. We don't want this, of course. Okay, first off, we've got tungsten. No idea what to do with this other than to smith a blade. And we've got silver, which I actually want. Uh, Deforms and strike at temperatures above 600 Celsius. Oh, it's not like hematite that it turns into something else. Oh, that's bad. Maybe silver wasn't a good idea. The thing with silver is that it conducts um, uh, temperatures. So it's really good in heating up from what I know. Uh, but if it deforms, we can't really have it as, uh, as a plate on an oven. Like, that's my idea here. Tungsten transforms into tungsten at 600 Celsius. Yep, that's what I wanted for the silver. Hmm. Do I use it for that anyway? I have to see. I mean, I don't have to connect it. Okay, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. What's the time? Okay, we're on half. So, so I can give me my X. Oh wait, how do I put tungsten back into tung tungsten ore? I can do this with hematite and iron. But I don't think I can do it with tungsten. Curious. Um... Okay, let's start with the silver then. Oops. Uh, maybe we can use some wood in, uh, for the tungsten. Now, let me get my lighter. Oh no. The, hem <laughs> the pyrite turned into hematite and that turned into iron. Ah. <laughs> I do have more pyrite around, I know that. Uh, let's put the iron into the water. Yep, so it's hematite again. Actually, let me get this here. Produces sparks when struck against a stone. Transforms into a hematite at 500. Conducts electricity in only one direction. Ooh, I can show the last thing in a second. But first... Hello? Ah, there we go. And now then... 400 already. 500. And 600. And now we want to struck it. You can't see anything but flames, I'm sorry. Problem is I can't really see the silver myself here. I'm basically beating up <laughs> the grass. 
No, 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 don't fall down. Come on, be wider. I said I want a little bit of silver, but this is... This is a joke. Uh, this is all we got. This is all we got. <laughs> Stone in comparison. <laughs> I wanted a plate, like... Oh my. Hi. This looks menacing. <laughs> ah, I want to see this. Um... Hmm. So maybe not have the stone around the pyrite or the wood. And this one needs to cool down. And it does this pretty quick. So yeah, this is the table I wanted. This is the table I got. So now I'm thinking if I just use iron. I just don't know how much heat they can absorb. So this is on 50 and this is on 20. What if I lay one on the other? 21 and this is going down quickly. So silver is better for heat. But look at how tiny it is. Hmm... Yeah, I think I'm doing something different in terms of feed. I don't want to use fires too much. There is another way to generate heat, actually. Also, what better time to demonstrate my little flashlight than during nighttime? Isn't it cute? It doesn't really illuminate my surroundings. I need a stronger one for that. And yeah, there are stronger ones. Um, ah, what I want to do next, I can't really start right now. Huh. Though we do need... Hmm. So remember what we did over there. We have to do that again. And for that... Right. I know what we're doing. We're collecting... This thing here. This is big. I'm taking this one over to our... Whoop. To our spawner. Let me... Whoops, oh, okay. Uh, because I do want my shield back, actually. Oh my god, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a damn second. Do you see this? Silver. It's not really big, though. But let's collect it anyway. So we found another sliver of silver. This can come in handy. So I do want in. Grant me entrance. Dungeon. Ah, I can take my cube from the other side. Ah! Now we're in. Uh, is this thing high enough? Let me check if something spawns with my makeshift cleaver in hand. Ooh, we've got the black, red, yellow going. Pretty German here. Or if you go sideways, kind of Belgian, I guess. 
So this works. Okay, we've got this one secured and we got our shield back. So we can do the same we did here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, our spawn preventer looks a little suspicious, if I may say so. <laughs> This wasn't on purpose, but I love him. Uh, I swear I didn't want to create a little crewmate. <laughs> that was not my intended, uh, not my intention here. And now we leave. Anything else around here? We've got pyrite, stones. More stones. A lot of stones. Oh, we've got the red... Oh, it's a dead red slime. I think we met him before. Nah, he's with us. <laughs> Whether he wants or not. I mean, in this... Uh, under these circumstances, he can't really want much. Right? He can't want much. How would you say that in right English, actually? Ah! Ah! I do like that they kind of self-destroy by jumping against the shield. I just have to hold the shield right. <laughs> What is my health? Oh, my health doesn't look good. But the only reason I made this detour. Okay, that's it. Oh. Ow! Uh oh. Ah! Uh oh. Ah! Anyway. I want this. More silver. I wanted one silver and now I found all the silver. Ah, and was the silver lining of this? I have no idea because now I don't need it anymore. Technically speaking. Are you a rubber wood? Rubber wood. Ah, oh my god. Where do you where do you come from? Ah. Okay. Ooh. I need to eat something. Oh, we got red slime here. I can eat red slime. <sighs> Ah, uh, that would be nice. So, where did I put the silver? All oh, right, we only got one. The other one is still in pouch. Still in pouch. Not anymore. So now we put the shield to the cleaver. Cleaver was the name. Right, right, right. And we can cook the slime later. No, we're cooking it right now. No, we okay. Okay, here's the thing. We need another siege. I want to take on another spawner like this, and we found a few. So that's what our next task is. We're getting our cart ready, so it finally has a use. We're getting our uh, shield and cleaver together. A little bit of food, so I stay alive. And then I should first do something with the tungsten. First the tungsten or first the drones? I'm going to decide that be in between the recordings. Until then, uh, have a fantastic day. The blue sky, the birds sing. <sighs> Relax a little. We see each other either tomorrow, if this comes out fresh, 
or just one click away. Bye bye! <sighs> so much to do, so little time.